Today, I'm gonna be doing something absolutely insane. I'm gonna be attempting to start a brand new Shopify store and get sales within just one hour. I know this challenge is absolutely ridiculous, but I'm pretty confident we're gonna be able to pull this out the bag. And I'm actually so confident that if I don't succeed and get a sale within just one hour of us getting this store off the ground, then I owe someone in the comments $250. So if you guys wanna be eligible, make sure you hit the like button and comment on this video but without further ado, let's get into this challenge. All right, guys, just so you know, this challenge is 100% legit. I'm gonna be showing you the time right now. It is 1.12 and I'm about to hit this start timer right now. And as soon as this starts, there's absolutely no breaks. And once it hits 2.12, this challenge is completely over. So I need to get to work now. All right, guys, we haven't even found a product yet. So I'm gonna head over to AliExpress. My strategy here today is to be selling a baby product because what I did a few days ago, I posted on my story and I asked if anyone had any theme or meme pages I could use. And I got a ton of replies. And this gentleman over here told us that we could run for just $20. And the reason I'm using an Instagram influencer opposed to Facebook ads is Facebook just wouldn't be published in time. So with that being said, I'm gonna find a perfect product that we can advertise on this page and then I'm going to show you it. All right, so my strategy here is to just pick one of these top order products on AliExpress. To be honest, I don't know if any of these products are winning products. We're just going to test them out and see how they do. All right, guys, I just found four really cool products and instead of me choosing it myself, I wrote four numbers down over here and whatever it lands on, we're going to be choosing for our product. So this rattle toy over here is going to be product number four. This one's going to be three. This one's going to be two. And this one's going to be one. So we're going to spin this and we're going to see where it lands. Okay, so it looks like product number three, which is this electric baby nail trimmer. So I'm gonna get to work designing the store right now so we can get ready to advertise this in time. So the first thing we need to do is we need to start a Shopify store. So I'm gonna start a free trial over here. We're gonna be calling this Tan Channel Stores. And then we're gonna create our store over here. It's gonna ask us for a little bit of sensitive information. So I'm gonna blur this out and I'll see you on the other side. All right, guys, we're in the store. So I'm gonna be heading over to the app store. And what I need to do is I need to download this app called Oberlo because that's how we're gonna actually import all the photos onto this listing. All right, guys, sweet, we're in Oberlo now. So what we're gonna wanna do is click import list over here and we're gonna click add products by URL. And we're just gonna come to this listing and then we're gonna paste it in here. And our product should be pretty much ready to go. We're just gonna change the name to electric nail trimmer and description we're going to delete all of this we're going to keep the variance as is and then we're going to leave all of these product images for now and then we'll come back to it later so now we're going to import this to our store and then we should see it in this product section over here in about a second so i can actually see it now which is a good sign and right now we're at just about nine minutes into this challenge so i'm getting a little bit worried so i need to start designing the store literally this second so I'm gonna head over to the theme store I'm gonna be using the Brooklyn theme today because this is one of the best free themes that there is so it's gonna take a second or so to load to our library so while we're waiting for this theme to populate I'm gonna head over to Canva and I'm gonna create a logo since I don't even have the brand name yet we're gonna have to go on GoDaddy and try to find a domain name that works with this so I'm just gonna call this the nano baby trimmer I mean, that's not that good of a brand name, but I just don't have much time. Okay, Nano Baby Trimmers available. So now I'm gonna make a logo on Canva. Let's see if they have any baby templates over here. Okay, let's try this one out. Nano. Ah, uh, it's not that good. Um, okay, we're gonna try one more logo out. Let's try this guy out over here. Nano trimmer. Okay, that's not terrible. Let's ungroup that. I mean, it doesn't make too much sense, the logo, but we're just gonna run with it for now. So now I'm gonna download this image. You gotta make sure you're downloading it as transparent. And now we're pretty much ready to add this logo to our store. So I'm gonna head over to our Brooklyn theme and I'm gonna start setting everything up right now. 
Okay guys, so I'm actually gonna be moving so fast that in some parts I probably won't talk. So I'm gonna be building this store and I'll probably check back with you guys halfway. All right guys, so I pretty much got the homepage done. I'm not gonna be making this homepage too crazy because like our time constraints just are not letting it happen. So the last thing I'm gonna be doing on this homepage is I wanna make sure that I do add our logo onto the checkout page because that's very important that they see that this is branded. Um, okay, so we are pretty much ready to roll over here. I know it's not the most beautiful homepage, but now we only have 45 minutes left and we don't even have an advertisement ready. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna head over to the product page and I'm gonna start writing our description and getting this product ready for merchandising. All right, so what I'm doing now is I just head over to Google Shopping and I'm looking for other competitors selling this product so we can get a good idea how we should design our product page. So now that I have a couple examples, I'm gonna start getting to work. All right, guys, so I just knocked the product description out, which means the product is pretty much done. We only have a few images in here, but I wanna make sure I change the price on this product. It's $8 on AliExpress. So I'm gonna try to sell this for like $19.99. Okay, so now we're just gonna save this and we're gonna check how it looks by clicking this preview button and we can see that it looks pretty decent. Obviously, this isn't the best product page in the world, but with the time constraints we have, it actually turned out okay. So the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a compare app price and then I need to put some menus together and then I need to start working on the ad ASAP. All right, so I'm just making sure that I link the product and setting up the menu properly. So we can come over here. Let's set the track order. We're gonna click save menu. All right, guys, so I just set the main menu and the footer menu up. So this pretty much completes everything that we need to get this store off the ground. The last thing I need to do is come over this legal section and we can just create these templates that Shopify has for us and we just created those three. So now I'm just gonna click save right here. And if you check our store out, everything looks pretty much ready to go. So we need to get an advertisement ready to send this page across. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be using an app on my phone called InShot to design this video ad. So I'm gonna get to work on this and I'll be back in a few minutes. All right guys, so I'm designing the video ad right now and I wanna put some type of meme style headline. So I'm gonna say, every mom needs this. And then I'm gonna put a heart right there and we're gonna put this at the top. I'm gonna change this into some bolder font. And then this is pretty much gonna be our ad. It's not that great of an ad, but we're nearing the time limit. So I just wanna make sure we get this ad sent across before it is completely over. All right, guys, so I'm pretty much done designing the ad. This is what I made off InShot. I just put every mom needs this. And then I found this little video clip on YouTube showing the product in use. To be honest, I don't think this video ad's really gonna be able to get a sales, but I don't have any more time left. We have 20 minutes left and the ad hasn't been posted yet. So even if I get this up in like two minutes from now, we'll only have a few minutes for sales to actually come in. All right guys, so I just sent it to the page that we're gonna promote on and they haven't replied yet, but the ad is completely sent across and the caption's done. So now we're just waiting to promote on this page. The plan is we're gonna be running a feed post and if you see the engagement is really high on these videos. So I don't know how this is gonna perform because basically we have an ad that looks absolutely nothing like the post on their page. But unfortunately, I couldn't find some really good clips of babies with this, so I think this is gonna perform better on the story so I booked out not only the story but I booked out the feed post and we have 18 minutes to get this ad live so I'm gonna update you when they get back to us all right guys so I've been waiting for this guy for like six minutes now and so far he's not replying so I think he went to sleep so this is gonna be like my last hurrah to see if he's actually available so we're gonna be giving him a call we are live we're calling baby cute 29 right now let's see if he answers in time for this challenge because we literally have 12 minutes left and then we're completely wiped out so I don't know if he's gonna reply, but um, I'm gonna keep contacting him and I'm gonna cross my fingers, hope that we actually get this post up. 
All right, guys, so it's the very next day. The influencer that we were going to run with, which is BabyCute29, he actually fell asleep and he messaged me about four hours later and he said, ready, should I post it now? And I mentioned that we missed the challenge and he was super pissed demanding we pay him right now. So while the post didn't go live during the hour we had allotted for this channel, I still want to pay this gentleman up and see how this performs. So I will pay out $250 because technically I didn't even get the ad posted in the first hour. But I think it will be really interesting to see if we do get any results from this post. So technically I sent this post across when we had 20 minutes left in this challenge so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put a stopwatch for 20 minutes from the time the ad goes live and we're gonna see if any results come in in that allotted time period all right guys so the post just went live a few minutes ago so you can check this out we have this post over here that got posted one minute ago so this is the one on the feed and then if you actually go on the story you can see that our ads over here and when you swipe up you go to the exact landing page we designed so let's see if anyone actually buys this i'm gonna give it about 18 minutes to see if someone actually placed an order right now we have five people on the website with six total visitors so i'm actually really excited we might get some results for this so i'll check back with you guys in about 15 minutes or so all right guys so here's a cool little update this ad was now posted seven minutes ago and if you come on our shopify you can see that nine people have been to our website and we actually have one checking out right now so i don't know if they're gonna buy this in time but i'm really hoping so but i'm gonna update you guys soon so it's now officially about to hit the 18 minute mark. And if you go into our Shopify store, you can see that we have 11 visitors and we had one reach checkout, but ultimately zero sales, which I'm honestly not surprised. We only got 11 visitors. So I think if we were to have used a much larger influencer, then we would have had a much better chance of actually getting a sale because usually it takes about 50 or 100 visitors to your website to get a sale. So I'm definitely not surprised, but what I am gonna do is I'm gonna keep the ad running and I'm gonna update you guys when we do get our first sale. All right guys, so I apologize about the bad quality video and audio, but I was just actually out at lunch. I checked the results and as you see, we actually have some traction that went down. So I wanna break this down. One of these orders was actually a test order by myself that I placed at 11.25. And then we got another order for Lisa Purdue like 10 minutes later. So that's really exciting. We actually managed to get one sale off this promotion. So I'm gonna head back to the studio. Then I'm gonna break down all expenses and how long it actually took to get this sale. All right, guys, I'm back in the studio and I am super excited that we actually managed to get one sale off this promotion. Let me tell you, this challenge was really difficult, not only me building the store and getting the ad ready, but also filming this video at the same time. And I also had to download like all these apps so I think if I had everything prepared, I easily could have built the store and the ad in about 30 minutes, but I probably had about 15 minutes of time that I was just trying to get things together. So this challenge was literally impossible, but it was definitely super fun. And I'm down to try something like this again. So if you guys did like this video, make sure to let me know in the comments and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy. Peace.